Hello friends, welcome back. We are studying ASP.NET Web API. In last video, we saw how to create Web API application in Visual Studio 2019. In this video, we are going to see one more important part related to Web API and it is Web API controller. So let us start. So Web API controller is a class which is derived from this API controller class and it resides in system.web.http namespace. Now what is the role of controller? It handles the HTTP request and sends the response to the client. Now whenever you are going to create a controller in your application, you have to follow one rule and that rule is your controller class name should ends with this controller word. So remember this thing. Then one more convention is there. Whenever you are going to create a controller class, it should be under controllers folder. Though it is a convention, it is not a rule. You can place this class under any folder in the project's root folder, but it is generally recommended practice to keep all the controller classes in controllers folder. Now, as I told you that controller is a class. So class will contain a methods, right? All the public methods of a controller are called action method. In upcoming video, we are going to learn more about action method. So this particular video is about controller only. So let us see how to create a controller in Visual Studio. So let us switch to Visual Studio. In last video, we studied how to create a Web API application. So if you are not aware of that part, please watch that video first. And at that time, I explained this basic folder structure also. So as you can see here, we have a controllers folder in our project. So what you have to do whenever you need any controller, you have to add that controller in this controllers folder. So just right click over here and say add. And then after you have to choose this option controller okay again there are multiple options which controller you want so be careful we are not going to create mvc controller we are going to create web api controller so choose this option first web api and then again under web api you will get a multiple options so now we are going to create only simple controller it do not have anything related to entity framework so i am not going to choose this option so just select web api 2 controller empty now say add now the next step is to specify the name for the controller so as i told you the name of the controller must ends with this controller word so you have to specify the controller name so let us call this controller as product controller okay now say add. When you add a controller, you might notice that controller is a class. Okay. It ends with this controller word. One more thing is it is derived from this API controller class, which resides in system.web.http namespace, which is already imported here. So this is all about controller. In next session, we are going to study about the action methods. Thank you for watching.